You know what, candle making is one of the most wonderful things to make whenever you're thinking about comfort crafting because they really set the stage for relaxation and for a soothing atmosphere in your home and they really say that same message when you give it as a gift. You're saying, I want you just to light this candle and relax. Now these candles were really made simply and I'm going to show you just how they're done but they really look like they've come from a boutique, don't you think? These are so beautiful and I love how that they are layered and they are so large but believe it or not these are not from actual candle uh, molds. They're not candle molds at all. They came from, believe it or not, recycled wax containers, just like these over here. Large milk cartons and small milk cartons, juice cartons, even your soy milk, they turn out so great. Just like all of these I've shown you, even those little bitty uh, ice cream containers that you eat at midnight and then you uh, throw that carton out and you hope no one notices, well don't throw any cartons out anymore. Now, let me tell you one more thing that is so good about this crafting idea and that is you do not have to go and spend lots of money. First of all you haven't spent anything on molds and then if you want to you can buy the big 10 pound slabs of wax like this one or I don't know if this is 10 pounds but it's awfully big and then break it up into chunks like this or you could do like I did and that is just to use all of your old thrown out candles, things that have, uh, you know, you've lit at them and used them for a little bit and then they're gross or it didn't turn out right when it was started melting or you've picked something up at the thrift shop. Now that's the way to do this little project. Now I've just taken a wok and some water and an old thrift store pan and made my own double boiler. And all I have to do is turn this barely on to get it going. And as you can see, I've already started melting a lot of this wax. But just keep putting all that in there. And the smaller chunks that you have in your double boiler, the faster it melts and the quicker you uh, get to make your candles. Now, our next step is to take one of our cartons and make a mold from it. Now, you just want to cut the top off. And there's a little secret I want to show you whenever you're cutting off the top. Because we're going to put a pencil or a dowel rod across the top, make sure and cut a little V on one side and then flip it over and do the other side in a V. And you'll have a place for your pencil to rest when you put your wick in there. Another thing is to use a wick that is all the way from the top to the bottom and that you can curl around your pencil. Now I've just taken magic tape and put it on the very bottom of the wick base and I'm going to just peel that off, peel the top layer of it off, not the tape itself. Now it's ready to place right into the carton and I want to make sure that it's really in the center so just peek down inside there and then I'm going to take a little dowel rod or a skewer and push down on it so that that's nice and secure. Now the next step is to place our pencil back on there and just roll that wick around. And this is a waxed wick. You can get these from Yaley's Candles in any of your craft stores and it'll stick to itself right there. Now we're ready to go. Make sure you place it on a cookie sheet that has something lined on it because just in case you have a little uh, accident you don't want to cover your entire table with your wax. Now one more thing that is a good idea is to cut a little square of cardboard and place it in the top because sometimes these milk cartons uh, get a little bit out of shape at the top and that'll keep it from doing that. Now let's check on our wax and it is definitely ready to pour. Be sure that you do everything safely and this is definitely not a craft for children.
Now, after you have poured this color, it's great to empty your pan and then go to another color of candle wax like I did on most of these over here and then pour another one directly in top of this carton as soon as that starts setting up. As soon as it starts setting up, it'll get a skim on the top and you're ready to pour again. And how it works is that by the time you get your next pan melted, it's time to pour another layer and it turns out really good. You know, it's really fun to decorate these and embellish them with beads and wire or even leather and beads like I did these. With the layers on here, it doesn't really take a whole lot of embellishments, but it really adds to it, I think. Now, I have one here that I have already poured and it's set up and it's ready to be taken out of the carton. So I'm just taking the little uh, pencil off of the top and then I'm going to cut a little bit of this so that I can peel off the milk carton. This is the most fun part of all. Forget embellishing. This is the funnest part. This is a really fun thing for kids too. And you know what? All the adults will gather around to see exactly how your candles came out when you start peeling off the wax carton. Ooh, isn't that neat? All those layers of uh, candles. Remember to have several going at one time so you'll have lots for gift giving and uh, all sorts of things. Now make sure and trim up that uh, wick just a little bit. You only want about a half of an inch of your wick at the top and voila, it's all done. A great idea for comfort crafting. <laughs>